Thank you, everybody. Uh, let me just uh, make sure that I acknowledge uh, the folks who are here because uh, they've, they've played an important role in this. Uh, first of all, uh, your congressional delegation, Senator Bob Menendez, uh, Senator Frank Lautenberg, Congressman Frank uh, Lobiando, uh, Atlantic County Executive Dennis Levinson, and uh, Brigantine Mayor uh, Philip Gunther. Uh, you know, obviously, this is a federal state and local effort. Uh, and uh, the first thing I want to do is just to thank everybody who's, who's been involved uh, in uh, the entire rescue and recovery process. Uh, at the top of my list, uh, I have to say that uh, Governor Christie, throughout this process, has been responsive. Uh, he's been aggressive in making sure that the state got out in front uh, of this incredible storm. Uh, and I think the people of New Jersey recognize uh, that he has put his heart and soul into making sure that uh, the people of New Jersey bounce back uh, even stronger than before. So I just want to thank him for his extraordinary thank leadership uh, and partnership. I want to thank the congressional delegation because part of the reason we're going to be able to respond quickly uh, to all this is because uh, they helped to make sure that FEMA financing was in place. Uh, and we're very appreciative uh, of those efforts. And you know, I want to thank uh, Craig Fugate. Sometimes, uh, you know, people just think FEMA and they don't think the people behind them. But uh, Craig uh, lives and breathes uh, this stuff, making sure that uh, we're providing the help that people so desperately need in these situations. Uh, I want to thank all the first responders who've been involved in this process. Uh, the linesmen, the firefighters, uh, the, the folks who were in here uh, shuttling out people who were supposed to get the hell out and didn't. Uh, you know, you, you've helped to save a lot of lives and a lot of property. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that when you, you learn in these tragedies is the first responders, keep in mind their homes usually are underwater too, or, or their families have been infected uh, in some some way, and yet they, they make those personal sacrifices to help other people. So we really appreciate them. Uh, I'm just going to make a couple of comments. Number one, uh, and, and most important, uh, our hearts go out to the families who have lost loved ones. Uh, it's true that because of some good preparation, uh, the loss of life uh, was kept uh, lower than it might have been. Uh, but for those individual families, uh, obviously, uh, you know, their world has been torn apart. And uh, we need to make sure that uh, everybody who's lost a loved one knows uh, they're in our thoughts and prayers. And, and I speak for the whole country there. Uh, for those like uh, you know, the people I just had a chance to meet on this block and throughout New Jersey and uh, throughout the region uh, whose lives have been upended, my second message is we are here for you. Uh, and we will not forget. We will follow up to make sure that you get all the help that you need until you've rebuilt. Uh, at this point, our main focus is on the states of New Jersey, uh, which got hit harder than anybody. Uh, the state of New York, particularly uh, lower Manhattan and Long Island. Uh, we are very concerned about uh, some uh, situations in Connecticut as well. Uh, and we're still monitoring West Virginia, where there are uh, heavy snows in some inaccessible areas. But uh, you know, for the most part, those four states uh, are really bearing the brunt uh, of this incredible storm. What we've been able to do is to preposition uh, and stage commodities, water, power generators, ambulances in some cases, food, uh, medical uh, supplies, uh, emergency supplies, and we have over 2,000 uh, FEMA personnel that are on the ground right now. Their job, now that we're moving out of the search and rescue phase, is to make sure that they are going out in, and talking to individual communities so that people know exactly how they can get the help that they need. You know, we expedited uh, our emergency de declarations for uh, the state of New Jersey and uh, local counties that have been affected. What that means is, is that people can immediately start registering for 